UC San Diego has had a meteoric rise. I don't think there's any other university that has accomplished so much in such a short period of time. I think it's starting to take people by surprise. It's just beginning to really be recognized for all that it's accomplished. I think that will grow over time. But I think, you know, part of what made it possible was the foresight and um, vision of some of the early leaders. We moved here in 1969 when there was no university. So we've seen this university grow up. And the only people that we got to know that had anything to do with the future university were Walter Monk and Roger Ravel. So we got exposed to the university years ago. When I came here 48 years ago, ever since then, uh, everything really exciting in our lives had something to do with the University of California, and particularly the University of California, San Diego. In that time, the campus grew from 32 students and some very, very good professors to one of the 10 best research universities in the country, in the world. In a way, I sort of, I've always said this, that uh, I follow I'm hanging on to his coattails and following Peter with his energy and his drive wherever he goes. And then I suddenly find myself plunged into things and I have so much fun with it that it, it really gives a focus and direction to our lives. I've lived in San Diego for 26 years. San Diego's really emerged as a technology juggernaut during that time. Um, I've had the privilege of living in it, working in it, benefiting from it, seeing the university's impact on it. The, the role of the university in fostering its development in my mind is completely unequivocal. Again, I was very lucky to come to UC San Diego. Uh, UC San Diego had a, uh, one of the first early supercomputers, uh, which had about 1% of the power of my iPhone, but it was really, really powerful and gave uh, me and my colleagues the ability to really play around with computers, which then became a part, the start of a career of a lifetime for me. Well, I'm most proud of the fact that I started SAIC and I, I, I uh, nurtured the did a lot to nurture the employee ownership movement because I think it's really great if it uh, succeeds in the long run. It will help the country a lot. I affected the library world. Uh, I think that most every organization I've been involved with, I've not been passive, I had an effect on it. Um, and that Someday someone might say, oh yeah, Brody did that. He helped build Sequest, or uh, he helped build the burn. Um, so it's just a general statement. I, I feel I've made a difference. My whole career has been spent in human health, in pharmaceutical or biopharmaceutical drug de development. So medicine and human health has been a passion my entire life. Uh, I literally didn't know when I began that the university was a powerhouse in life science research. So as I started to become involved, I was just dazzled by the people that I met and the incredible work that they uh, do. This is a university with a young spirit, but it now has people who are truly involved for long periods of time. Uh, and now generation and generation will follow. And we are now a family which is growing into the future. And uh, that is really, truly exciting.